Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm exploring a very important historical city of Northern Ireland, Derry, aka London Derry. Derry is one of the best preserved walled cities in Europe. Due to its rich cultural heritage, it is nicknamed as the UK city of culture. Built around the 1600s, the walls intended to provide a safe sanctuary for the newly arrived settlers from England and Scotland. You can walk along the circumference of these high walls and admire the many old cannons on display. You can even book an audio tour as you walk atop the walls and immerse yourself in the history of this place. Derry is also called as the Maiden City as its walls were never breached despite several attempts. The area enclosed by the walls is a Renaissance-styled town and houses many of the old buildings. The craft village in particular is a pretty corner, teeming with vintage shops, cute cafes and artistic murals. After exploring this city within the walls, I set out to explore the outer city limits. Derry had a long-running history of conflicts, mainly between the Protestant Unionist and the Roman Catholic Nationalist. There are many museums and sites of interest that provide a glimpse into Derry's history. The bog site was the epicenter of many disturbances, including the Bloody Sunday Massacre, when British paratroopers opened fire on a civil rights march, killing many people. Peace Bridge upon River Foyle is an iconic piece of architecture and symbolically strives to join the Catholic West Bank and the Protestant East Bank and usher in peace and harmony. Walking through the streets and lanes of Derry, Londonderry, feels like walking through the chapter of a history book. Interestingly, I have visited other countries with tumultuous histories and I have always found one thing that's common, the warmth of human relationships in the face of adversity. Who is right, who is wrong, the answers are always convoluted. But these man-made conflicts always affect the common people. And it's sad because deep down people aren't very different. We function alike, we think alike, we smile alike, we feel sadness alike, and we all need a hand of friendship.